just gonna try to be as quick as possible but pretty much I started contracting yesterday noon and then from yesterday noon to now I am two centimeters dilated and right now we are thinking of getting I'm gonna have to be induced I'm 39 weeks and I just need my cervix to open up more so i'm gonna i'm about to start getting to the process of being induced and then i think i'm gonna try some painkillers and see if it works if not then i'm definitely getting the epidural but everything's going fine i'm gonna show you guys my room and i'll update you very very soon <laughs> Topping up the mess, drop it in the water, let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe, spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind, hold her hand, and don't believe a lie, you understand me. Walk her down the valley, pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet. Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach Like the angels do And you gon' make it through now Tell about the healer Greater is the one within and call him as the leader Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky And I'ma wait upon the giver He'll deliver like a dealer to take her Every door and how the windows let the sun in Copy out the key and tell her this is for becoming Even in the fever, baby, cry and get to running And tell her that you better get your bootstraps up You're with the army Ready when the truth act up, nothing can harm me Yelling from the roof, I touch, put up a guard and count to ten Lion's den, speaking with a higher pen Can't be touched by fire then Fast forward to the grown things now I'm working on them soul things now Forgiving all your old ways But it's harder on the cold days Cold days Never been a product of a flawless environment Never acted like I'm higher than You, 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 you And I still pray Dear God, won't you send me a break Cause I, I need to get away, yeah Dear God, won't you send me a break? Cause I, I need to get away Cause I would rather be, rather be running away I would rather be, rather be running Dear God, won't you send me a break? Cause I, I need to get away I need to get away now Hey guys <sighs> I feel like I need to update you guys on how everything's been going after delivery and what's next pretty much so to just give you to give you a brief summary of what's going on so I went into I was I was having contractions on the 18th of December around like 12 p.m. But I knew they were like minimal contractions, so I was just going about my day, doing whatever I had to do that day. And then later on that night, around 8 p.m., 9 p.m., the contractions started getting intense. And so I kind of thugged it out until like 
1 a.m. And then I called my mom I was, and my husband. I was like, yeah, I don't think I can take these anymore. I at least want to go to the hospital and see if I'm dilated. See, you know, you know, because I'm just not sure. But these contractions are really intense. So fast forward, we went to the hospital. We got here around 3 a.m. They checked me and all of that. And they were like, yeah, you're about two centimeters dilated. So um, we're going to um, have you stay here a little longer. And then I'll let you know if the doctor recommends you going back home or just um, staying here with us. So fast forward, the nurse came back and she was like, um, the doctor recommends that you stay just because um, you had a C-section before this and um, you just want to make sure like you're good, everything's good, so we're not sending you home. So I was like, okay, I don't mind not going home. I actually didn't want to go home. So... I was literally having contractions from 3 a.m. when we got to the hospital until, let's say, 3 a.m. the next day, the 19th, just contractions, and they were giving me um, pain medication through um, this and... So it was helping a little bit, um, but I wasn't dilated. Like I, I was at two centimeters for hours, and so we they induced me. And so after inducing me, I dilated a little bit more to like let's say five centimeters, and they were like, okay, after we induce you, because we don't want you to get another C-section, and you want to get a give get a vaginal birth. We're going to go ahead and um, give you another medication, I forgot the name, to intense your um, contractions, you know, to make your contractions stronger. So I was getting fentanyl for pain meds, and that really helped. I got it like twice, um, but then the contractions were just natural and so they were tough man I cried I'm not even gonna lie so fast forward they were making my um, contractions intense and then they were like do you want to get an epidural I was like yeah give me that epidural like today so I took the epidural and that just eased all the pain and just feeling so relaxed my muscles were just feeling so relaxed I was still getting the medication to intense my contractions but I couldn't feel a thing and then we were just rotating me um, and I had a balloon like uh, not a balloon but a ball under my legs just so baby could come down slowly so after like 5 a.m. Um, around in the morning time, that's when I really went into labor, like 1 a.m. in the morning. I was in labor from like 1 to 7 or 8, and then I hit 10 centimeters, and I was like, oh my god, I'm really about to have a vaginal birth because I've always wanted one. So I hit 10 centimeters, and they you know, they were letting me know, like, hey, we're about to, the doctor's going to come in, and we're going to go ahead and push. Are you ready to push? And I was like, girl, I've been ready. Mind you, I still had the epidural, but it was fading away a little bit. So that was nice. So I didn't feel any pain, but I still felt some sort of pressure, you know? So then the nurse was like, are you ready to push? Mind you, y'all, I'm a G because it only took me three pushes until Terrence came. So I pushed for the third time and then I heard little Terrence. He is uh, so beautiful. He's just a very relaxed, chill baby boy. He don't talk too much. He don't cry too much. He's just so chill.
they took us from labor and delivery to postpartum. So we relocated from labor and delivery to postpartum. And I've been here since 9 a.m. I would say. I just came from taking a shower. They just been checking him. I've been oh. bottle feeding him. I've tried. He's trying to sleep. I've tried like making sure he was he gripped my nipple. He was a pretty good gripper because he gripped it quickly. But I'm just not getting breast milk right now, but I'll give it a few days. So I plan on breastfeeding him and bottle feeding him. So that's what I've been doing. He's going to take a shower later on today, but he's just asleep. And honestly, it's been a blessing. I just want to thank everyone who participated and was a part of the entire process. I want to thank my husband, my mother. I want to thank my sister-in-law, Nadia. Those are the real G. My mother-in-law, like, they, as I was pushing, y'all, they were, I had them on FaceTime, and then my mom was recording. They were praying, they were speaking and talking, like, the whole nine, like, my whole village was there. And it was just the best feeling ever. It was amazing. And I'm so, so grateful for them. And I just know Terrence is going to bring marvelous thing he's going to be a good little brother and Thea's going to be a great big sister and I'm just excited to see you know so I'm just eating my dinner right now currently the only pain that I'm feeling is my rear end um after I pushed Terrence out I got second degree tearing and so I had to get stitched up so I got stitched up and so I'm just feeling burning sensation because the stitching is very new and it just hurts down there. It's very, very sore right now. So that's the only pain I'm feeling. I'm taking like ibuprofen and different like pain medications to see if it goes away. It's definitely from a scale of one to 10, I definitely feel like it's a three. But it's definitely been a lot better since when I first came here, I could not even stand up. But I'm so, so grateful. And yeah, I'm here by myself currently because my mom had to go and take care of Thea. But my husband is here keeping me company. And yeah, hopefully in the next two days I get to go home. But it's been an experience and I'm grateful for that. Um, and so, yeah that's the update for now i'll see you guys in the morning time i love you guys so much and yeah <laughs> in the water let the daughter find an image with the rest she'll be learning how to breathe spinning through identity reveal another pretty little scheme save her mind hold her and don't believe a lie, you understand me. Walk her down the valley, pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet. Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she... Good morning, everyone. <sighs> Today is the day we go home. So... We woke up around like, what, 7 a.m. And they took him in to do his blood screening and to do a few other, other things that he passed, um, his hearing that he passed or whatever. Um, and so we thank God for that. And I ordered some breakfast and I set up, um, we met our the doctor for the final time and she told us you know we're all good to go as we wanted to go home today and i was like yes let's i want to go home oh i'm sorry you okay it's a little too tight you want me to loosen you up all right hold on So now 
before I have breakfast, I want to take a bath. So I'm gonna go take a shower and then, um, Terrence had his bath yesterday for the very first time. Yeah, you guys, his name is Terrence. I'll fill you in with that later on. But he had his bath yesterday. And so my mom wants to give like his true African bath <laughs> when we get home. So she's really gonna, I'll show you guys all of that. So he'll have like a bath bath when he gets home today. And I prepped his little outfit to go in. Yeah, you guys, I'm so excited to go. So Thea can meet Terrence. Oh my God, it's gonna be a beautiful reunion. But I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, I the angels do, and you go make it too. Tell about the healer, greater is the one. Call him as the leader. Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky. And I'm a wait up on the giver, he'll deliver like a dealer. Take her high.